Hello once again, it's Joey Joe McGuire. I find myself in the Plough and Harrow in Hammersmith, one of my favourite Weatherspoons pubs. God bless Tim Martin. I'm about to read uh, the poem I wrote in the early hours of this morning, and it's called Water Body Made Legal. Here it goes. Maybe it was because along the line the system became tangled up with itself, turned inwards, heaven only knows, but things weren't as they were meant, simply not as they should have been. I wasn't pressed ganged or shanghaied, nor was I a conscript, no, to the contrary, I was a volunteer, albeit a paid volunteer, but a volunteer nonetheless, and a mere child escaping from the clutch of poverty. I was expecting to be treated as such, with a certain amount of respect and decorum. It was a shock to receive neither, to be told I was expendable, and the pittance for my pay would see my heart, soul and labour available twenty-four hours of every day responsive to command. To be stripped of my dignity, driven into a clockwork clone, brainwashed and scrubbed was one thing, but to be tortured, to be bullied into submission, is another. I have not forgotten the waterboarding thing, the little incident that has not bothered you since, and how powerful it made you feel how hilariously funny and so, so clever inflicted upon me, a mere child who'd put his trust in your adult hands. You wouldn't have realized how much I feared you all, how I hated you more than my enemies, with active duty seeing me instinctively nervy as fear became the paranoid that was the bullet in my back and myself became my only friend. I had to pay for my freedom, but by then I was a broken man in meltdown. I was Mr. Lonely, with just the clothes I wore, a small suitcase and a train pass to take me home, wherever that was, for I had made myself homeless and would feel the spiteful whiplash of the nation that I had once served so dutifully. I was running away from you all as quickly as my legs would allow, and I've been running ever since, until now, as I no longer have the strength to run, for I have run myself into exhaustion. Rest assured I have not forgotten the treatment meted out to me, at the hands of my own kind, my friends and brothers in arms who turned to save themselves. Nor have I forgotten the day you put me to the water, diluted my willpower, mocked and humiliated me, how you stole my trust with one illegal act, my essential trust that has never been replaced.